Hi, Drew here, and I'm showing you a little crucible that I made for melting aluminum in my backyard fire pit. I made it using scrap pieces. Uh, the pipe and the, pla uh, the piece of plate steel that, uh, here, I found those in the alley behind my house actually. Uh, it's a piece of 2 inch uh, Schedule 40 uh, steel pipe. and. Uh, a piece of uh, flat steel, eighth inch thick, about two and a half inches by uh, five inches, roughly, uh, with a couple pieces of uh, three sixteenths inch flat bars underneath it as legs. I did a 100% thorough weld going around on the outside, and it gets hot enough to melt aluminum without a problem, especially when you put the cap on here. The cap is made from a large flat washer and I uh, nipped a piece of the pipe off and cut it in half so I could have a cap. And the hole here in the middle provides a nice uh, viewport when it's heating up. You can look down and see if uh, your aluminum is glowing yet. Here's how I do it. So I stick it in the middle of my fire pit, put the cap on, and then I build wood up around the base of it, fire it up. It takes, it takes about a good hour, maybe a little bit longer, to uh, get a hot enough bed of coals on there to really heat that steel up to a nice cherry red which is more than enough to uh, melt the aluminum inside of it. And then once I'm done, pour it right into a muffin tin. And it's very hot. And here's the scorch marks uh, from the first uh, pour that I did. And the next clip will be uh, showing it fired up and red hot. Just waiting for the sun to go down a little bit more. I'll see you in a moment. All right, now if you see in the center of that hole, you can see that's glowing down in there. Be ready to pour here in a minute. Safety first. Always want to get a few moments after you pour some water on there for it to actually cool down. This is still quite warm. 
but I can pick it up without any consequences. And here's the finished product. Shorter. Hmm? Right. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe.